On this video, I'm going to show you how to export from Final Cut Pro to email a client uh, your work in progress. This is a one minute video. Click in the timeline down here to make sure this is active. Keep in mind if you were to have something here, say a raw clip ready to be put in, and you hit export, you'd be exporting this clip. So click in your timeline to make sure that's what's uh, active. Come up to File, Export using QuickTime Conversion. Uh, we're going to use the QuickTime Movie and we're going to go to Broadband High. Under Options, we're going to click on Settings and this is what we want. 672 is Broadband High. We'll go with Current Frames. And you have a choice here. If this is the final video, go to Best uh, best uh, Quality. It's a multi-pass. Coming from HD, this might take four or five minutes a minute. Uh, coming from standard video, this will take two or three minutes per minute of video. But if it's just um, a works in progress, I'll hit faster encode. Although most of the time, I do best quality. Because you spend a lot of time, you might as well get the clients to look at what you like. Look at the best quality. Click OK. Size. I like to go 16 by 9 because HD is mostly 16 by 9. And you have a choice here. You can go with NTSC 16 by 9. Or if you want to go to custom, it would be 640 by 270. Either one works. Um, if you're working in HD interlace, make sure you hit the de-interlace video source. Click OK. Sound is fine. Turn off prepare for internet streaming. The reason to turn it off is what this does is crushes the first several seconds making it start quicker. But you're going to email this to them or do a you send it file. You might as well have this off. Click OK. Then name your video. You know, uh, video by Steve. I sometimes put email after it so I know it's a small file. Then select the uh, folder you want it to go into and hit save. That's all there is to it.